Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name's Sean McGuire and today's video is going to be about why I'm studying YouTube and why I'm doing all these videos. Let's get into it. Alright, so I've had this question asked a few times now and I thought that it would be a good idea to uh, get it out there, tell everyone about what my YouTube channel is going to be about and what kind of videos are going to be up here first before uh, I get into my other videos. So basically, I'm just about to finish my film degree off at my university and once I do that, I'm not going to be able to get any of the gear or any of the film equipment out from that university anymore. So I was thinking to myself, I got to make an investment, I got to get a camera and that's exactly what I did. I saved up for a little bit and I finally bought my camera which is the Sony A6300. It's a really good uh, kind of mid-range entry level camera. Uh, it's mirrorless, it shoots 4K, exactly what I need to start off when I'm out of uni, just to keep up with my client work. It basically has all the functions that I need and it's a nice compact camera that I can take with me everywhere and it, it gets the job done. So I finally saved up and I bought the camera and I've wanted to start vlogging for a little while but I was thinking to myself, I can't just start a vlogging channel because there's a thousand of those on YouTube. So I was thinking, how can I bring something new to the table? And that's why I came up with the idea to show people what it's like to be in the film industry. Basically what I want to be doing is as this YouTube channel grows and as I go as an industry professional, I want to start vlogging uh, behind the scenes on some sets. Of course, I'm not going to be able to do uh, vlogging on any major blockbusters if I get on them like Marvel or like Sony big movies because NDAs. But the more smaller short films and indie films, if I can, I want to start vlogging behind them. And the reason is because I see a lot of filmmakers on YouTube, but essentially what they are are people that have a camera, they go out, they shoot some footage, they chuck it into an editing software, they edit it all together and boom, that's their film. Which essentially, yes, that is still filmmaking, but I want to do something a bit different. I want to actually show people what it's like to be on a film set and to be actually in the film industry. So by doing this, I can show you guys what equipment we're using, why we're using it. I can also go into depth about what different roles are on the film set. So instead of just covering the basic director, producer, director of the photography kind of roles, I can go deep and I can start to explain and show people what the roles of a first AD is, the roles of a first AC, a production designer, a location sound, a boom op, and all these smaller roles that are essentially still massive roles that you just don't hear much about. So essentially that's my main goal, to be able to vlog on set and to give you guys a bit of an insight on what happens on set and also the roles of the film industry. But of course, I'm not gonna be on set all the time. So all my vlogs aren't always going to be about what happens on set. Also, I feel like if I just upload the same behind the scenes on set kind of content, it might get a bit old. So my vlogs are also going to be including events of my life so if I go out on like a photography shoot with some friends, if I'm shooting a video for a client, if I'm doing something that I feel that is interesting and I can share with you guys, that can lead on to another segment that I want to do, which is tips and tricks. So with the tips and tricks segment, I want to be showing you guys basically different tips and tricks on how to make your life easier on film sets, also while making videos. And I understand that there are a lot of tips and trick videos out there but again I want to start thinking outside the box because there are times when I search things on YouTube and I can't find anything on the topic I'm looking for or if I do find something it doesn't have all the information that I need. Also by trade I'm an editor and on set I'm location sound but that doesn't mean I don't know much about filming because I do and my university has taught me a lot when it comes to filming and camera operation as well as a range of different skills for various different disciplinaries within the film industry. But in saying that, I still have a lot to learn. And that's why on top of everything that I just explained, I want to do one more segment, which is interviewing industry professionals that work in different roles within various different disciplinaries of the film industry. So by interviewing people that are special effects, makeup artists, stunt coordinators, foley designers, or anyone in any kind of role, Hopefully I can give you guys a deeper insight of what the film industry is actually like. And hopefully if any of you are interested in any of these roles, you might actually learn something new. So they're the main three segments that I want to start doing. But as for now, I'm going to stick with doing the vlogs on Friday as well as the tips and tricks videos on Tuesday. And hopefully sometime in the near future, I can start doing the interviews as well as some other segments slash series 
that I have in mind. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for me today. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're interested in joining this journey with me, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all have a lovely day, and I'll see you Friday.